Okay, Dad just sent me a message and said that uh, my new Grand Force Brooks uh, Scandinavian Forest Axe has, uh, has come All right. in the mail. So, Sigurd, cheers! Cheers! Hello guys, my name is David and uh, today I got a new package in the post that I ordered some days ago. I'm really excited about this. It's a Grand Force uh, Scandinavian Forest X. Uh, yes, it's called that. <laughs> so let's open it. I'm really excited. Oh yeah! Well, that's a good axe. I can't wait to uh, take it to the forest tomorrow. Hi guys, my name is David. And uh, yesterday I got a brand new Grand Forest Brooks Scandinavian Forest Axe. I love this axe, uh, it is just really really beautiful, it is handmade and forged by uh, some of the world's best uh, blacksmiths from Sweden. You can see the logo here, Granfors Bruks, Sweden. This is the axe head. This is a very large axe and um, yeah, I thought that it would have been smart with something smaller, maybe the Grandfors Bruks uh, small forest axe with 14 centimeters um, shorter and uh, only 200 grams uh, lighter, but um, I don't regret that I bought uh, the Scandinavian Forest Axe who is uh, 64 centimeters long and 1.2 kilos heavy. I love this axe, it is so cool. I have used it a lot today and I really like it. My other axe, my first axe that you might have seen is a Grand Forest Brooks uh, Wildlife Hatchet. It is a lot smaller it is uh, two times smaller, but it is twice as, as uh, small as uh, the uh, Scandinavian Forest Axe. I've used this a lot and uh, you see the logo there is, is gone on this axe. But this axe is darker and um, yeah, I, I think that some of the uh, axes you might get can be light and some of them can be dark but it was not this dark when I got it, it have been darker uh, after I've used it a lot but this is not the axe who I'm going to show you today okay as you see I've not been that uh, good uh, when it came to uh, taking care of uh, the uh, shaft for this axe so I'm going to be really careful with this one. So, okay, why don't we take the axe and um, cut down something so I can show you how it works. standing here on the ground so I'm going to chop that down with the Scandinavian forest axe and uh, see how uh, fast it will be down 
So I've taken off the chef and put it in my pocket so I know where I got it and I won't lose it. So I'm gonna find a good position like this. Then with my legs spread out so I won't kick myself. Let's start. taken with the, the um, wildlife hatchet but yeah this wood was just stone hard it is the hardest wood I've ever seen in the forest so yeah it took some time to chop down it was really hard okay so this axe also comes with a book, a little book here from Granfors, uh, who's named Xboken, and Xboken, that's Swedish. And since I'm Norwegian, and uh, Swedish and Norwegian is pretty similar, I understand what stands written in this cool little book, but uh, if you're not Norwegian or uh, Swedish and uh, don't understand Swedish, it would be uh, pretty hard to read this, <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I don't know if uh, there is any translations of this little book. So uh, I'm really happy with this axe. It cuts really good. Though I'm just a kid, it works for me to use big axes like this. It's, it is a little bit uh, what you like, what you prefer. But I think this one is great. It might be a little bit big, but... Um, and this is an axe that will uh, last my whole life if I don't uh, lose it. And I'm going to be really, really careful with it and take care of it. It's a pretty expensive axe, but I got uh, two jobs so I could afford it. And uh, I don't think I will ever buy an... Uh, other axes than the Granfors axes because I really like them. They are extremely good and top quality. So that's my thoughts of uh, the Granfors Scandinavian forest axe. Thanks for watching. Take care and uh, always remember don't don't try to cut your nails or something with an axe. It's a dangerous tool and uh, use it with respect. Bye-bye.